Hi, so this is Mike and Ryo from the Substream.com. Monday night we got to see, and we got to see on Monday night the incredibly handsome Korean superstar Rain, starring in Ninja Assassin, which was directed by James McTeague, who got his start directing from the Wachowski brothers, who got him to direct V, v for Vendetta after he was their first assistant director on the Matrix films. And then I guess after that, when they went on to make Speed Racer, Rain had a part as a ninja in Speed Racer, and they thought, wow, this guy's a ninja is so great. We should make a whole movie about him. And then they did, and it's called Ninja Assassin. Um, the story was kind of dumb. Uh, as much as the action was kind of cool, a lot of it happened in the dark. Because they're ninjas, you know, they fight in the dark. I understand that, but I had trouble sort of following what was at, what was happening because it's a bunch of people dressed exactly the same fighting each other and uh, can't really see what's going on. But besides that, I mean, I don't know. It's definitely the kind of movie that uh, I would have loved to have rented when I was 10 um, and watched on a Saturday afternoon while wearing a homemade ninja outfit. I, I take issue with that. I don't. I don't even buy that. I don't even buy that you're saying that to me right now. The issue I had with it, I have no problem enjoy, enjoying movies on a level that I would have enjoyed them when I was ten. My problem with Ninja Assassin, the only thing I wanted from this movie is I wanted it to be violent. I didn't want it to be PG, kind of goofy, and it was certainly violent. It was completely over the top. Literally, it seems like they they just were like, how many different ways can somebody get something cut off? Because I kind of took it for granted that they were going to, that because it was called Ninja Assassin, that it, the movie would have enough kind of ninja atmosphere and weird, goofy ninja culture, kung fu crap associated with it. Which I was excited about, because I, I like that stuff. It's what makes movies movies, the fact that they're kind of stupid. What they chose to do in this movie, which for a, about five minutes it seems clever, which is... You go to see a movie called Ninja Assassin starring a guy named Rain who's a Korean pop star who's incredibly handsome and you're like, okay, it's 2009 and I'm somehow going to go see a ninja movie. And then all of the main characters in the movie are like, ninjas? Yeah, right. I can't believe that we're dealing with ninjas. And it's like kind of a semi-clever, self-referential thing where you're going like, oh, I can't believe they made a ninja movie. They can't believe that they're dealing with ninjas. But that gets so incredibly boring because they tried to make ninjas realistic. I don't know if they did. I mean, they, there were a lot, like one thing that I thought was actually kind of cool about the ninjas was that when you saw them sort of slipping into shadows and stuff, they literally like turned to smoke on screen. Like they, they I think they, I'm surprised they made them as supernatural and mystical as they did. They actually made the ninjas kind of like ghosts, which I thought was kind of but, but they're ghosts that just sit in a monastery and then kill people. They don't, they're not looking for a sacred stone. There's not an ancestral haunted sword or a scroll of immortal technique. They're just hitmen. It's just so boring. And I, don't, I wouldn't have liked it when I was 10. I would have thought it was dumb. I, thought it, I would have thought it was boring. Oh, I, I, th I liked way dumber things when I was 10, though. Like, I, I mean, th I've, I don't remember the names, but I remember watching mov ninja movies when I was a kid that even then I knew were bad movies, but as long as there was someone in the movie wearing all black, only having their eyes exposed, throwing metallic stars at other people, I was, I was happy with it. It does belong on the shelf with the hundreds of other crappy, crappy, crappy ninja movies that exist that parents will rent for their kids to, so that they don't bother them for the afternoon. But uh, yeah, it's not, it, it doesn't, it certainly doesn't stand out as anything remarkable. That's for sure. There's a, there seems to be like this hook in the film where if you were born with your heart on the wrong side of the body, maybe you will survive a ninja attack. And for that alone, I think that I will give the film a 5.6 out of 10. I draw a very fine distinction between stupid and bad. They're not always the same thing. And I think this is stupid and bad. And I would have been happy with stupid and at least earnest and try to make it exciting even if you have to do that in a childish way, which they would have had to do because it's a movie about ninjas. And I give it a 
three out of ten. So our combined score is there you go. Four point seven out of ten. Goodbye. <laughs>